boom bitch welcome back guys you're here with RJ on channel Arkansas as always and we're playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic and Knuckles however you would like and prefer to say it and we're on the I think Mushroom Hill zone with Knuckles now so away we go how does this work then because we haven't got all of the emeralds hmm Right, I see. So we can only attempt to, yeah, get the ones we've already got. So, heck, let's give it a go. Oh, jeez. This is going to end really, really badly. Oh, fuck. Yeah, um. Wow. I can tell you now I'm going to fail at this because I don't remember this at all. This one, at least. Um, shit, shit. Oh, yeah. That sucks. That's really hard. Because they don't turn into rings. That makes for interesting gameplay. But again, I'm not worried about the emeralds, to be honest. If we get them, we get them. I'm pretty sure and pretty confident we can do this without the use of super knuckles or hyper knuckles or whatever it is okay jumpity jumpity mm. right let's take these fellas out first because I just, yeah, get the impression that they're going to fuck us over if we don't. Mushroom bounce. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that a giant dra no, like dragonfly or something? Must be. Oh, no, you don't. You filth. Mmm. Wow, that was that was that was pretty close. Oh, just like that. Mm. So yeah, I'm kind of gutted because I know that now we're on to the Sonic and Knuckles levels of this. Um, we are slowly creeping up towards the end of well, this playthrough. And that's going to be kind of gutted, because I'm having so much fun doing this. But you never know, maybe in the years to come, down the line at some point, we'll come back and revisit this, I don't know. But once this is done, it's done. It's not going to see the light of day on this channel for a long time, if it does see the light of day on this channel again. But I suppose that's... That's um, creating memories for our channel and our community, is going through these games together and having a good laugh, having a good time. I should be able to get him because I've got that flame barrier, so... So yeah, there's going to be happy times and sad times. And one thing I'd like to figure out as well, um, it's obviously too early on in the channel to do this, but... If you're subscribed to multiple channels, which most of you likely are, um, I guess you'll kind of find that each channel has their own kind of set um, series of game um, that is like the biggest memory for their channel. Um, for instance, what's a good a good example? Um, oh, you absolute chicken fest one of my channels I'm sub or one of the channels I'm subscribed to um, and the first channel I actually ever came across on YouTube um, if you're aware aware of him is known as psychedelic snake or Lee I think Lee's yeah Lee's his actual name um, but he goes by psychedelic snake and he is a big inspiration to me and 
why, you know, one reason why I kind of thought about doing this when I did in the first place. And the first video I came across was his his playthrough of the Wii version of The Grudge. But his channel, um, his fan base, and he's got a pretty big fan base, his channel, I suppose, in terms of memory or whatnot, this is hard to explain, I apologise, is, I believe, the Persona series. I've never played Persona myself, um, but I've watched his playthrough or playthroughs and everybody references him and he references his channel himself to Persona out of all of the games that he's played and everything so that's an example um, I can imagine and I'd like this channel to have its own specific series which everyone can relate to you know I'm not sure what it will be yet because it's way too early days to even think about such a thing, but I just think that would be a pretty cool thing to have, you know? Shit. If that made any sense whatsoever, apologise if it didn't. That is actually harder to explain than I thought it might be, but <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Um, yeah. Oh shit, bouncy, bouncy! Mm. Come on, come on. Oh, there's, yeah, that, that doesn't help. God damn it! <laughs> oh, wow. Can we? Yeah, I was gonna say, can we jump on that? Because that's what we need. There we go. So, yes, um, Psychedelic Snake is an absolute legend in his own right. He's, he's, he's a really, he seems to be a really funny guy. He's very down to earth. Um, he's pretty intelligent. You know, he's pretty straightforward. And his channel is amazing. His content's really, really good. Um, so he's one of my favourite YouTubers. So yeah, if you've not actually come across him, go and check him out. I'm not sure if he's on my recommended list on my channel. He bloody well should be, if he isn't. But now I've said that, I will I will actually go and check and make sure that he is, because if he isn't, I'm going to add him on to it. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Oh, fuck. That was my own fault. I don't know why I tried to glide. Oh, take it, you slag. Mm. Oh, I like that. Take a good fucking bounce in. Mm. Uh, ah. Uh. Risky, risky. There we go. Nicely done. That is Act 2, I think. Yeah, it must be, because that's the big boss. So. And then on to... Uh, is it that, that, that flight zone or base? Some, you know. The, the fucking airship thing, you know what I'm saying. with the awesome music that is to be. There we go, flying battery. That's the one I was thinking of. Oh, fuck, why would you do such a thing? Oh, fuck. I pretty much just shit bricks there. I scared myself. <laughs> I don't know how, but I did. Damn it, don't question me. Ah, didn't get me this time, you fucking slag, did you? Mmm! Learn the ways of the Force. That was a quote reference to Star Wars. Do not fucking copyright or sue my ass. <laughs> I never once said it, I came up with it. <laughs> 
Speaking of which, I am massively hyped for the new film. Oh, fuck. Okay. There we go, that's much better. And um, the Hunger Games, actually, the new Hunger Games. I'm really looking forward to that. I've read all the books, really enjoyed them. And in, in fact, it wasn't until I watched the first movie that I got the inspiration to read the books. I enjoyed it that much. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed them. They're really good. So I know what happens in terms of the story, as long as the film follows it properly. Which um, you don't see often nowadays. Normally a film taken from a book or from a game. Biggest, biggest example is the Resident Evil movies is an absolute fucking joke. And I can say that with confidence because I'm a massive, massive Resident Evil fan. I have been since the very first game. So I have a pretty good right to say that the films are fucking shit. I mean, if you want to argue with it, um, be my guest. But, big example, the main character in the films is someone that doesn't even exist in the fucking series of the games, in the series of the books, in the Resident Evil world. Alice does not exist. So what the fuck is with that? Let's focus a film series taken from what was the king of fucking survival horror and one of the biggest franchises on the planet and let's just throw someone in as the main character that doesn't even exist. What a fucking joke. And it does boil my blood a little bit, being such a big fan of Resident Evil. Because Paul Anderson, his stuff isn't too bad. It could be a lot better. Um, but some of his stuff ain't bad at all. But with Resident Evil, I'm sorry mate, you, you made one massive fuck up. You really did. And if I was ever lucky enough to see you, I'd probably fucking nut you one for it. Because you ruined the Resident Evil for me. At least the films. But that's that little rant over. That's not what we're here for. Um, maybe I'll do like a video or a vlog or something one day on Resident Evil. If somebody really wants to go into it. But for now, enough said. Right, let's not get blown up by that mine. 181 rings, oh wow. But you know what's going to happen, now I've noticed that we're going to lose them all. But as long as we're careful and steady, we should be fine. I'm not worried if we do lose them. Right, it's you, is it, my friend? Probably the easiest boss in the entire game. So if I get hit by this fucker, I'm going to be really disappointed. And we're only nine rings away from an extra life, which is pretty sucky, because we won't be able to get them now. There we go. You know it makes sense. Excellent. Act one. Let's make our way to Robotobotnik and whoop his ass. No? Hmm. Cheeky bitch, cheeky bitch. So from what I remember, um, most of this at the moment is the same as Sonic's, Sonic's run through anyway. Right. Just like that. 
for some reason, those twirly things remind me of the um, sweet uh, flumps. If you know what a flump is, it's like a marshmallow thing. Oh, I'm nervous for this bit. Uh, right, there we go. There we go. Not to panic. Oh, no. What even is that? Fucking turtle tank. Right. You and you. There we go. We should be okay now. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they remind me of flumps, because they're in no way whatsoever in any resemblance, but still. Yes, take that speed. Mmm. 80 rings? Down, da -da -down, ba -da -ba -ba. Sorry, maybe your shit just bounces off me at the minute. I'm going to gain an extra life. I'm telling you now, I'm going to get an extra life. Because I, I refuse to lose my rings until I do. I'm so close to it. Oh! Right, ten more rings. Seven more rings. I'm not going to risk this because I remember what happened with Sonic. I tried to jump too far too fast. And I ended up getting hit by spikes. So I'm just going to be a bit more cautious this time. There's our life. Oh no. I missed the first ring. I'm not being funny, but I would not get picked up by a spider. Even if it was trying to help me. Um, you, you would see me slither along the walls using just my fucking eyelids. Or my tongue before I let any spider so much as go near me. Yeah, we got our extra life, so that's good. Oh, Sandopolis is next. Yes. Yes. And this is the same thing as well, so this is no issue. Just avoid the laser. Oh, shit. Oh, that's okay. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. One more, two more. Nah, probably two more, I think. It doesn't look small enough yet. Yeah, this should be the last one. There we go. And this will take us to Sandopolis. Oh yes. Oh yes. You fucking know it. Oh god, no. Oh no! I forgot about this. Um, oh shit. Knuckles, you're a twat. Move. Move. Move! Come on. I know we've got heaps of time, but I still freak out. Hold on though, because... Oh, we haven't fought the boss yet. Ugh. Here's me wondering why we haven't actually progressed onto Sandopolis yet. It's because we haven't even fought the boss. <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh, it's actually Robotnik this time. That's strange. Oh! No! And I've lost my rings, you fucking noob! How could you let such a thing happen? <laughs> you gotta be good, man! Right. I actually don't know what happened there. I haven't got a fucking clue, but... It happened either way. <laughs> Fuck those rings, we don't need them. There's ten rings up here we can get. There we go. 25 rings, that's that's more than enough. We should only need one. If I'm not such a dick.
I know Knuckles, I know. I'm waiting as well. Right. Come on then, Robotnik. Let's have a you bastard. You're not doing it this time. I'm telling you now. Oh. Right, wait for the... There we go. Wait for the flame and then jump. Oosh. Ah. Oh. I'm sure he jumps three times with Sonic. Not to worry. Ah. Oh. Take it. Oh. Shit. Tell him to take it and I do the same thing. Hmm. Oh, that was lucky. I just kind of... I don't know. My hands went into autopilot. Right. On to my... Probably my favourite level of Sonic and Knuckles. The fucking Sandopolis. Um, obviously that only counts for the first level. Because the one with the... The second one with ghosts. Just, yeah, fuck that. Oh. Oh. Right. I'm going to leave this here, my friends, as always, because obviously, you know, I do at the beginning of a really cool level, and you love it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.